see here is it's a real foggy morning if you look over my shoulder here today we're back on the emerald coast off the florida panhandle panama city beach florida march is only a few days away construction crews are around the clock working to repair all the damage that is still everywhere here from hurricane michael several months ago now but spring break is coming and panama city beach florida is a location that will be really way overpopulated during the spring break time we're here now to avoid the crowds If you look up here on this building, you can see some of the damage that I'm referring to still left over from Hurricane Michael. And that's nothing. I will show you today buildings completely de devastated. Uh, I know I rode past a movie theater that was completely trashed. Even here on what used to be the very pretty white beaches of Panama City, the sewage from the sea has backed up causing this little area just right smack dab in the middle of the beach don't get me wrong it is warm enough here already for people to start flocking to the beach to enjoy the ocean this morning right now it, it is kind of overcast but it's still 75 degrees you see here they're actually doing quite a bit of construction on this resort to get it back in shape in time for spring break all the way through summer months and driving down into florida the last few weeks i cannot tell you how many trucks like this i've seen national disaster services is what this is and they are scattered all over this emerald coast area just a, a little backstory in october of last year October of 2018 the third strongest hurricane to ever hit the Florida Panhandle broke land destroying Panama City Beach Florida Not only did it uproot trees, tore up homes, tore up buildings, it was devastating. As construction crews are working around the clock to try and repair, especially the tourist areas of Panama City Beach, Florida, I thought that that could be our topic today. And I could kind of show you a little bit of the devastation that Hurricane Michael caused here. One such devastated place, I drive by it every time I come down to Panama City, which has been probably, what, five or six times since Hurricane Michael came through here. And it catches my eye every time I come through. This is one of Panama City Beach's movie theaters. This is the Carmike Cinemas, or at least this is what's left of it. Obviously, there's no construction going on here, so they are not in the process of repairing this facility. They still have Venom posters from when the movie was due out. Venom came out in theaters on October the 5th. Hurricane Michael hit on October the 7th. Look at all the glass everywhere. I'm going to assume that it's not suitable for people to walk in anymore. Look at the bricks that hold up the building there. Just trashed. The, the inside of it, cash registers. There's animals living inside of it. I'm surprised that this place hasn't been looted or anything really. Cause I see video games back there, Batman, all kind of stuff. Oh, it looks like somebody did loot it. There's like 
pretzel icing all over the place. Somebody did come in and loot it already. I'd like to get in and see one of the theaters. See what they look like. This is private property, so you're not supposed to be inside of that fence row there. By no means is this the only building that was completely destroyed. I passed by quite a few of them. This one, almost five months later, still sits untouched while the rest of them were either tore down or are being repaired, something to that nature. I passed by areas where big, huge trees, way bigger than these, are just completely uprooted and thrown. Similar to this one that's blocking this drive through here. It's just been completely ripped up. Look at that. The building itself here seems to be in fairly good... I mean, it's holding up. It's just the roof caved in on it. I'm really surprised to see all of these doors still shut and latched because I was expecting... This is a, uh, we're inside of a theater here. People have broken in and stolen the sound systems off the wall. Just despicable. The roof's falling in on it. The screen still stands, but they've come in and stole all of the sound systems off the walls. I'm sure the projectors are probably all gone too. Such an eerie feeling here in this place. But just as I was saying, I'm surprised to see all the doors still locked and none of them open. Then I find one open, but that's awesome. I wanted to see inside of one of the theaters to see what it looked like. And the theater that I was able to see in was still pretty much intact, except for the people who broke in and stole everything out of it. If you look at all the houses around here, you can see that there's still tons of houses that have not had the roofs fixed on them yet. You see all the blue tarps everywhere. I am headed back into Alabama, and I thought since I'm going that way, I would show you some of Hurricane Michael's destruction, some of it that has not been cleaned up or fixed yet to this point. You can see how the roads are completely trashed and they're having to rebuild them. That McDonald's sign there. Just trees completely snapped in half. You can truly see that Hurricane Michael ripped through this area without prejudice, taking out everything in its path. I'm looking at a bank over here, caddy corner from me right now, that is just a shell. So what happened to all the money that was in the bank when it happened? Did it get looted or what? This was a bank. You can see there was graffiti on the outside of the wall at one time, but it's just a, a shell. It's just, it's nothing of its former self. So when Hurricane Michael, when it plowed through here, destroying anything and everything, did it take all the money out of the building and blow it everywhere? Or did uh, Hancock and Whitney, who owned the bank, did they remove all the money from it prior to, or what? Yeah. It's interesting, that's an interesting, uh, it's an interesting question though. There's nothing left of it. Another thing too, as you drive through the town, every building that is here, it either has a we are reopening soon, or we are back open, or we are rebuilding for you, all that type of stuff. Everything. I mean, every building down here has that on it. Look at that Hampton Inn over there with the big sheet of metal that's completely trashed it.
I hate that so many lives were affected down here because of Hurricane Michael. So many people lost their homes or businesses or whatever the case may be. Vehicles, vehicles were tossed and thrown all over the place. It's really sad. That's gonna do it for today's episode. I just wanted to kind of still show you that even though it's been almost five months, the devastation still remains. I'm gonna thank you all for watching. Make sure if you have not entered the contest to win the spy camera, you uh, enter, you go and watch that video so you can enter that contest. I will put a link to the video that tells you how to enter the contest in the description box below. Thank you all. I'll see you again tomorrow. We'll be back in Alabama, and I hope you have a great day.